Hi everyone, and welcome back to Function Pilates. I'm Vanessa Kelly, and today I'm gonna to go through a reformer workout with you specifically geared towards sciatica. We're going to focus on stretching the piriformis and strengthening the glute muscles and the entire posterior side of your body. So if you're ready to begin, let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and begin with our regular footwork. And I have on medium to heavy weight, which is three and a half springs, two reds, one green, and a yellow spring. And then lying on your back here, getting nice and comfortable, we'll gently place the arches of our feet on that foot bar and relax those toes over. When you're ready, go ahead and press out to two straight legs here. And think of the hips opening up as you push the back of the knees towards the floor, just stretching out. We're gonna inhale to slowly soften those knees and exhale, pushing out again, nice and long. Think of this energy reaching out from the top of your head and out through the bottom of your feet. Our goal is to provide railroad tracks here. So our ankles stay in line with our knees and our knees stay in line with our hips. Beautiful. Really listening to your breath and just getting your mind and body in tune with, with one another. Let's go ahead and bring our heels up to the foot bar, staying parallel and push on out. Think of this wall up against your feet. So you want to maintain contact with that wall as you push out to avoid any rocking or shifting through your ankles. Soften through your jaw and try to relax your shoulders to create space between your shoulders and your ear. Exhale, pushes out, inhale, brings you back in. From here, we're gonna take our heels out nice and wide and stay parallel, meaning let's not turn those knees or toes outward, but again, allow the knees and toes to look directly up towards the ceiling. Exhale, sends you out, inhale, brings you back in. Keep connecting those ribs together pulling your abs down and in towards the floor. Keep relaxing through your facial muscles. Beautiful. Nice and controlled, bringing it back in. We're gonna come down to the toes here and heels lifted, push out. Let's drop the heels under for a singular calf raise and then bend your knees to come back in. Once again, we push out, the heels are gonna drop together they raise up and then go ahead and come back in. Just keep going like that. We're just adding a nice calf raise at the end, exercising all of your toes. Think of squeezing with those glutes as you push out and dropping those knees down towards the floor to really open up the back side of the leg. You got it. Nice, comfortable pace for yourself. Heels drop, they lift and bend those knees to return home. We're gonna keep the toes on and connect your heels. Go ahead and push out to halfway, adding small intentional pulses here. Beautiful, really tiny, barely moving the carriage avoiding any bounciness and deep breath there as you press out to straight legs and then walk it out. Take it into a nice prancing position here. Again, exercising all your toes and your feet, keeping your hips stable. Good. So we'll bring ourselves all the way back up to a seated position. We should feel warm now in our legs. And then I'm gonna have you drop down to two and a half springs, which is about two reds and a blue spring. And I'm gonna have you adjust your foot bar to about a middle position. So it's not super high, but it's not really low either. And then headrest is gonna go down flat. Lie yourself on your back. And then I'm gonna have you bring your heels to the foot bar here, or just those heel pockets getting ready for bridging. Arms are down beside us. Take an inhale through the nose. Abs are drawn in and exhale. Just begin to peel your hips up, really reaching out through your kneecaps. 
Good. And then slowly allowing each part of your spine to drop down one bone at a time. Nice. Squeezing with the glutes, pressing firmly with your arms, and slowly releasing your spine back to the mat. Beautiful job there. Exhale, we lift up. And you're gonna squeeze and contract your glutes for 10 pulses. So tighten up the butt cheeks, then release. Tighten up the butt cheeks and release. And when you hit your 10, carefully lowering yourself right back down towards the mat. Beautiful, let's do that again. Take a breath. Exhale, press gently into your foot bar. Hold your hips up high, elevate them, and squeeze with the glutes. You got it. Contract, really feel those butt muscles activating and turning on. And slowly starting to release, lower your body all the way back down again. Nice. Take a breath out and take your left ankle over your right knee. Give it a good stretch. And gently just go ahead and pushing out carefully with that right leg and bending the knee. Just allowing and honoring a nice hip stretch here on that left side. Should feel pretty good in the back of your right hamstring as well. Let's go ahead and grab those pegs and just let your hips cross over to the right hand side. You can look to your left to get a nice deeper stretch in the hip and through the spine. And then when you're ready, you can bring your head up first and your hips will follow. Good. Let's go ahead and place that heel back down. We'll take that right ankle over that left knee and let's repeat on this side. So just stretching out, straightening that left leg, carefully bending it. And just take it nice and easy here. It's not to be super fast, but Again, this is a moment to really stretch and just listen to what your body is saying, how it's reacting with that hip. And then when you're ready, let's grab those pegs again, cross the legs to the left-hand side, and you can look to the right. Nice deep breath, head is gonna come up first. And then your hips are gonna follow the head here, returning right back into a centered position. And let's place both your feet back to the foot bar. Heels are still on parallel. Arms are down beside you. Let's try our gluteal contractions again. So hips up into bridge. Beautiful. Squeeze those glutes for 10 pulses. You got it. Just notice if it's easier or harder, it's the same. Just really take inventory of your body. Good job. Exhaling there. And we're gonna lift right back up again. Keep those hips up nice and high and squeeze those glutes once again. The idea is that we're strengthening the glutes. That's why we have so many of these contractions. And it really helps to awaken any sleepy glute muscles here. Good. All right, guys, go ahead and push out. Drop those heels under, so come to your toes with straight legs, heels are under, just really feel a nice intense stretch here once again. Bring yourself back in, and we'll go ahead and sit ourselves all the way up. So we're gonna go ahead and take the box on top, we're gonna go short box, so horizontal, right up against the shoulder blocks, if you're over 5'7", it'll be wise to take your sh uh, short box over your shoulder blocks and um, provide extra space there. Slip those feet underneath the strap, your safety strap, and let's go ahead and cross your hands over your chest. We're gonna tuck that tailbone under as we lower back, and I do want you to stay contact with the ledge there, so keep your feet pressing down into the ledge as you Exhale to return back up to seated position. And just play here, going into a nice deep C curve, so you're tucking your tailbone under, and then restacking your spine at the top. Chin drops to the chest, scoop the belly, you got it. 
Inhale to hold. Raise your arms out to a T, cross them over again. Exhale, return back up. So if this feels good for you, add this extra challenge, it's optional. Otherwise stay with keeping your hands crossed over your chest the whole time. Exhale, return back up. Let's contract, let's squeeze those glutes again. So as you lower back, really allow that to help assist you. Arms open wide, we cross the chest, we return back up to a seated position. Good. Exhale to lower it back down. We're gonna rotate to the right through center, rotate to the left through center, C, C curve your weight back up to top. Let's do that again. Tuck that tailbone under, rotate through the spine to the right, inhale through center. Rotating to the left, inhale through center. Beautiful. So if you're happy with this option, stay with this option. Otherwise, for those that wanna go ahead and go forward, open your arms to a T, cross back over, twist to the left, open your arms out to a T, cross yourself, exhale, return up to the top. Gorgeous. Nice and slow. Taking your time, it should really emphasize the abs here. If you're getting into your low back, lift your chest up a little higher and tuck that tailbone under a little deeper. You got it. Beautiful job here, guys. Exhale. Let's do this one more each way. Arms out to a T. Twist. Focus on your breath. Open wide. Feet connected to the ledge. Exhale, we come up. Perfect. From here, we're gonna take it into your side over. So left foot is still under the safety strap. Take your right leg and let it just be resting on top of the box, right hand to your headrest and left hand crossed over. So nothing too fancy here, just bending deeply into that right elbow, but really again, create the work. So our goal is to emphasize the obliques. So think about activating the sides of your abs. Inhale, bend the elbow, exhale, tighten up through the waist. Yeah, and then just finish it with a nice stretch, so walk it out. Lower your chest down towards the floor, shoulders away from those ears, and breathe. Bring yourself back in, and we're gonna take it to the other side. So right foot's gonna slip into the strap, the left leg is going to come up to the box. Left hand to the headrest, right hand crossed over the front of your chest. Again, bending into that left elbow, and exhale, we straighten. Nice and slow. Squeezing with those obliques, finishing it off with your stretch. Just melt your body down if that feels good for you. and then carefully go ahead and come on out of there. Nice. So from here, go ahead and put your safety strap down towards the floor and we're going to lower our weight down to a blue spring or a half spring, depending on what model you are using. And I do have handles on. If you're using loops, you may wanna be on one spring or at least um, a red spring here. And then let's do our reverse chest expansion. So exhale, lift those arms up, wrist to shoulder level, and then really resisting the weight as it comes down. Good. Little circles there. Little salad plate circles out in front of you, individual circles there. Five one direction, five reverse it. Beautiful job. Go ahead and take it to salute. So hinge forward, pitch your body, hands where the eyebrows are at. You're gonna straighten your arms out where the wall and the ceiling meet. Exhale. Good. So the entire body is staying stable and it's just the arms that are reaching right into our school crushers. So 
Let's form a diamond, thumb to thumb, index finger to index finger. Elbows in space, straighten out your arms, and we're bending. Good, and there's still a slight hinge forward. So again, think of just pitching your body forward to provide balance. And then let's take it into circles. So bring your arms out in front of you, open wide, lower down, and think more mechanical, just a little bit more robotic through these circles. Yeah, so there's a point where you're gonna pause, exhale, pull in. Good. We'll do five one way, five the opposite way. Nice. And just breathing as it allows you to grow taller. Let's go ahead and finish it with punches. So exhale, reach with your right arm, bring it in slowly. Exhale, reach with your left arm, bring it in slowly. So again, just feel the challenge here as you resist rotating through your spine. Nice. Beautiful. And then go ahead and hang those back up. Carefully stepping off your box, we're gonna go ahead and change your box into a long position. So vertical against the shoulder blocks. And if you had your box over the shoulder blocks, go ahead and adjust it here so that it is up against the shoulder blocks behind them. And we're getting into um, swan. So your hands are on the wooden frame, thumbs are on top. Slowly activate your shoulders as they draw down and back through those pockets. Option to lift your chest, but keep your legs spread apart. So feet are not touching in this exercise. So slow. Inhale to lift the chest, exhale to lower. What's nice about this exercise is that I still am on that blue, that half spring. You can always knock it down to a quarter spring or just a yellow, the lightest spring you have on your reformer. And it just feels so nice to take it slow. Grab those straps above the metal buckle, bend your knees, cross your ankles, pull those arms back, and let's go ahead and do some tricep kickbacks. Elbows in space, straightening out those arms. Again, taking your long exhale to reach the energy out from those fingertips. Drop those shoulders if you feel them shrugging up. Squeeze that booty and push your hips down, lifting your thighs off the box. And then carefully bring yourself back in. Good job. Take one more stretch there to melt your body into the well. And then focus on reaching in front of you for those risers and take another traction stretch here. So it should feel like you're stretching out through the spine. Relax your legs if necessary. And then walking yourself right back in. Good. From this position, we're gonna go ahead and switch ourselves out into our loops. So handles will come off, loops will go on. And I'm still gonna keep that blue spring on, that light spring, and box will come off. I took the headrest up nice and high because we're gonna go into some sideline series, but if you need a pillow or a ball to assist your head, go ahead and place that on your headrest, and then go ahead and lie on your right side, placing your loop all the way above your knee. Let's stack those shoulders and hips. Chest is puffed up. Flex through your left foot. Bend your knee and straighten out your leg. So it's like you're pushing through the bottom of your left heel here, squeezing through the back side of the glute and hamstring. Exhale, straighten out the leg. Inhale to bend. Abs are pulled in and focus on lifting slightly up through your right obliques. Beautiful. Let's 
Let's lower and lift the legs, stay flat, so continue to pull those toes towards you. Good, nice and slow, feeling in control of your movement. Good, externally rotate from the hip and press it out. Bend, exhale, push and press out. Push and press out. Again, just monitor that your hips are staying stacked, that this one hip isn't rolling backwards on you and that you're not overly gripping the peg. Shoulders are seen down. Good, from this position, we're gonna go ahead and take heels together, knees apart for clam. So again, not a very big movement here. You're just opening up about halfway or until you feel like your hip wants to move on you, that's your stopping point. Exhale, open out the knees. Inhale to resist like an accordion. Nice. And bring yourself home. Good, let's carefully remove that strap. Hang it up on the peg. And we're gonna flip to the other side here and repeat that series. If you wanna add in a stretch, feel free. You can do a figure four stretch here. And when you feel ready, go ahead and take it to the next side. Again, setting ourselves up. We're gonna take that loop and place it all the way above our right knee. Shoulders are stacked, hips are stacked. You can hang onto the peg in front of you and take your right hand and place it in front of you for balance. Once you're ready, push out to a straight leg. Yeah, so again, send that energy out through your heel. Exhale, press, inhale to bend. Beautiful, shoulders down and relax, chest is lifted and you're looking straight ahead. Lower and lift the leg here, keeping the foot flex. Again, sending the energy out from the heel. Super controlled. Beautiful. Feeling that heaviness. And then we're gonna bend that knee, turn the knee up, exhale. It's your slow motion karate chop here. So you're in that external rotation where the knee and the toes are looking up at the ceiling. Bend the knee, exhale to press out. Beautiful. Keep breathing at your own comfortable pace. And we're almost there, guys. Heels are gonna come together, knees apart, open and close. Again, this is on that half spring, that blue spring. You can always lighten it to the lightest spring. Otherwise, if you would like more of a challenge, take it up to just one spring only. Open and close the legs, keeping those hips perfectly stacked and still. Good job, guys. When you're ready, take that loop out. We're gonna hang it up. And we're gonna go ahead and add that stretch if we need it where we take our right, ankle, our right ankle over the left knee, pull that left knee in towards your chest. Just a big giant breath here. And then when you're ready, go ahead and come up to a seated position. So let's take the foot bar up nice and high. And I'd like us to be on one red spring. So remove the blue. So one full spring, and then take it into our Eve's lunge, our hip flexor stretch. 
So the most important thing here is that your left knee is right above your left ankle. You're sitting tall, push your hips forward, add that extra stretch there as I lifted my arm up and took that side bend. It's optional. Otherwise, just hang tight with both hands on that foot bar. And then make it active. So you can stand up and you can push out nice and low into that deep lunge. But the objective is to stretch out the front of the right hip here. Nice. It's really important to get those hip flexor stretches. We want to avoid any of those hamstring stretches that pull on the sciatica nerve. So lining yourself back up again on the other side. Deep breath. When you're ready, pick up that arm if it feels good to you. Side bend to the right. Keep tucking that tailbone under. Chest is lifted up nice and high. Breathe. Good. Make it active as you bend and straighten out the right leg. Perfect. Nice, comfortable pace for yourself. And bringing it back in. All right, guys, let's go ahead and finish it with our roll downs here. So let's have a slight bend to those knees. Raise those arms up. Take a dive forward. Fingertips towards the toes. As you melt and hang here, keep those knees slightly bent. Restacking the spine up one vertebra at a time. One more. And again, guys, thanks so much for tuning in today. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share if you did enjoy the video and check out some of the other reformer tower and chair workouts we have on the channel.